मंगल भगवान वीरो मंगल गौतम प्रभु and welcome to Mangalam. Today we bring to you a very unique experience of celebrating Mahavir Jayanti in a church. So today we present to you a very unique experience. As Jains, we were invited to celebrate Lord Mahavira's birth anniversary in a church. The Church of Canterbury in Long Island has been celebrating Lord Mahavira's birth anniversary every year for last four years and we as Jains are invited there. This is an, a unique experience this year because the youngsters were prominent. We had presentations from elementary age children to the college kids. The elementary school kids presented a drama about Anikantwad with the elephant story. It will warm your hearts. After that, the youngster from college talks about, from YJ, talks about Anikantwad, how it is used in the daily life. So that this is a very unique celebration. Please enjoy.
be a human, be a plant or animal, or be an elk. To get out of the cycles, one has to attain nirvana, or complete bliss. One of the main principles of Jainism is anagantha, or non-absolutism. It means it is possible to have more than one correct answer to a question, more than one correct religion. There is an old tale. When, king, when Kumarbal was the king of Gujarat, he chose Jain Acharya Hemchandra, which is a guru, to be his guide. Hemchandra Acharya was a very well respected figure in Jain literature over many centuries due to his efforts for welfare of all citizens. Due to his influence over the king, some scholars of Hindu religion criticized and said, Him Chandacharya is a very egoistic person and has no respect for other gods or religions. They asked the king to take the Acharya to Lord Shiva's temple. They sought to humiliate the Acharya in front of the king. However, Him Chandacharya openly accepted the invitation and bowed down to the Lord Shiva and said, I'm, bow I'm bowing down to the God who had destroyed passions such as attachment and aversions, which are the cause of worldly life, whether he is Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, or Jinn. By this modest act, Him Chandacharya emphasized the importance of Anakantha. Now we are presenting an Anakantha-based play about six blind men. Once upon a time, there lived six blind people in a village. One day, the villagers told them, Hey, there is an elephant in the village today. They had no idea what an elephant was. They decided, even though we cannot see the elephant, let us go and feel it anyway. And all of them learned what an elephant was. Each of them touched the elephant. Six blind people in the village are all uh, feeling the elephant and each one of them uh, has a different experience. Oh, what have we here? So round and smooth and sharp. To me it's mighty clear that the elephant is like a spear.
that there are many ways of looking at the same thing. And with absolute, with limited knowledge, how can we claim that we know the absolute truth? Now that we understand the meaning and importance of Anekantavad, let's think about how can we as kids bring Anekantavad into our lives by simply respecting other people's opinions, even though they may be different from ours. Everyone has a right to their opinions, as long as they don't cause harm to others. For example, in school, when a friend says something and we do not agree with it, what do we do? We have an argument, say hurtful things, maybe even stop being friends. Instead, if we could just stop and remind ourselves that it's okay if someone has a different point of view. Maybe we, we can try to understand why he thinks that way. Maybe if we think differently, we can still be friends. Don't you think the world would be a much better place if we all did that? This Mahavir Jayanti, let's make a promise to ourselves and Lord Mahavir that we will respect others' opinions and make the world a happy and peaceful place. for a short break. But please don't go away. We'll be right back with the rest of the program. For your tax-free donations, suggestions and comments, please visit mangalamshow.com. Welcome back. Now we present to you the rest of the Mahavir Jayanti program celebration. Please enjoy. Anekantavad. Right perception of faith makes us realize the, the reality of life and the seriousness of our purpose in life. Right knowledge is the true, correct, proper and relevant knowledge of the reality. Philosophically, Anekantavad is the preaching of the true reality, also known as theory of non-absolutism. It calls for an attitude of openness. We in YJA represent the today's youth of the today's Chen youth, and our goal is to be and have an attitude of openness to all cultures and to all religions. Our limitations of knowledge dictate a style of relativity, which does not leave or have stand a Change chance it. to any My of name is the assertions. I'm the YJA convention committee co-chair. This July, if I were to stand on the first floor and of the house and someone in the house on the ground floor called for me, then what would one say? Call him down from above. Now, the person standing on the second floor of the house would call for me as call him above. How is it possible that both the narrations are correct? According to what one Mahavir, it is the fundamental of Anikantwa which confirms that both the statements are correct. The per perspectives may be different, oh, but the doctrine of an Ekantwal by Mahavir relies upon the principle of logistical conclusions. The precipitation of all teachings right from first Dirtam Karishabde, as known as Bhagwan Adinath, and up till the 23rd Dirtamkar, Bhagwan Parshanath, occurred only when Bhagwan Mahavir came on the scene. If I were to if we were to mix hydrogen and oxygen, to get water, most of us won't be interested in the process which takes place in, in obtaining water. What would matter to us is the end uh, result of that process. We recognize this process, but we are not conscious about it. It was not the process, but the end result we were after. In life, it's not the goal. It is the goal and not the journey which matters the most. Once we have a goal in sight, to traverse the journey, it would not be difficult. What is the use of this journey if we were not to recognize our goal in life? As society loses its value, people tend to become more and more materialistic. Bhagwan Mahavir gave to the society the fundamentals of Ahimsa and doctrine of Anekantwa. The, these two realities of life imbibe in the general masses a feeling of compassion and also Vairagya asceticism, it strengthens the autonomy of personal thought. 
Bhagwan Mahavir also taught us that the total humanity, including the various other forms of life, can always live in harmony. It was the fundamentals of Anikantva which made it possible for mankind to live a harmonious life. In the present society where religions are numerous and religiously motivated violence in numerous, we seek a very healthy interfaith dialogue and a lot better cooperation amongst the different faith of the world. As per the doctrine of Anekantva preached by Mahavir, all can live in harmony for it is only the viewpoint that may be different, but the goal of all religion is always the same. Remember, religion is a static term, but faith is a dynamic term. It is yours and yours alone. Faith is one thing in life which, you, which might not leave you, and it's one thing which you can choose to accept in life. In conclusion, I would just like to add as how we representatives of YJA put this uh, principle of Bhagwan Mahavir of Anekantwal in practice. By organizing our ninth biennial convention this year in July, we, we invite all the religions of the world to that convention, all the great speakers of that religion to teach us about the different teachings of different... Uh, For your tax-free donations, suggestions and comments, please visit mangalamshow.com. Welcome back to Mangalam. Please enjoy the rest of the celebration. Foremost is to keep, you see, the steady mind or we need to keep our balanced mind. In our life, we have like a roller coaster. Sometimes we are happy, sometimes we are unhappy. The reason we are happy we must have done something very good in current life or in our previous life or a former life. If we are not happy, the reason we must have hurt someone. So anytime we hurt someone or we give a pain, we make our soul heavier. And anytime we help others to make his life good, our soul becomes lighter. When the soul is become lighter, when we die, our, we go to heaven. If we make our soul heavier, we go to hell. And what are those enemies? The first enemy is the anger. The second is the ego. The third is the deceit. And the fourth one is the greed. program. 
wasn't that a unique experience i hope we all can enjoy each other's celebrations and become a one peaceful community with that thought i will take your leave please write to us at mangalamshow@gmail.com and do visit us at mangalamshow.com until next time jai jinendra